show you today is how to train your dog to go to its bed and stay for guests coming over, downstay. Here's what you need. You need treats. I'm using chicken, okay? Good treats. I've got Liz outside ready to be the guest. You need a person, a family member to be the guest because nobody watching this is gonna slam the door on their actual guest to go train your dog. So you have to do this in a training environment, training session with your family. All right, ready? So we've done a few sessions with him. This guy knows a sit, he knows a down, and he knows a little bit of the bed. So you gotta get your dog kinda knowing a sit, knowing a down. Now we're gonna get to going to your bed, hopefully from far away, going to the door, getting guests, and then releasing your dog to say hi. Santo. So you're gonna take treats, put them in your left hand. This is your hand signal giving hand, and you're gonna lure him to the bed. Okay, he kind of knows it. Ready, watch guys. Bed. Down, give him a treat. Now we're gonna work on a down stay. Okay, that's part of leaving him, right? A stay. So I'm gonna say stay. I'm gonna take two steps away. Always keep your an eye on your dog because the minute he gets up, you have to say, uh-uh, and you gotta put him back on the bed. Now what I do two last time, I'm gonna do three, keeping an eye on my dog, go back and treat. Here's what everyone does. Everybody does a stay wrong for the most part, a lot of people. They go stay, 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 and then the dog gets up and they go ah, and they put the dog back. I wanna be more proactive than that. Stay, one step, treat, two steps, treat, three steps, treat, four steps, treat, till you're however far away. Then you release them. Okay. Okay, Santo. All right, so now we can work on getting farther away from the bed. We can work on adding distractions like knocks and talking to the person. We can work on asking the bed from farther away. There's a lot of approximations we can do at this point. And you guys are busy, I'm busy. No one's got time to sit here and do every one of those little ones all day long. So we're gonna work on all of them at once. Ready? Treating your left hand. Luring to the dog. I'm going to stop short this time though, because he's done a few beds. He's only been here a day, but we've done a couple sessions with him. Now I'm going to see. And sometimes it's better to not have a treat in your hand for this approximation because they'll follow it and they almost won't leave you because you have a treat. So now we're going to see how far. Let's say I want to get like four feet. I want him to leave me four feet going to the bed. Santo, bed. Yes. Am I going to still treat it? By the way, when I said no treat, did I mean don't give him a treat? No, I meant no treat as a lure. But now let's go down, down. I'll give another treat. A lot of treats, right? One of the first sessions. Remember my stay? Now you say stay. Keep an eye on your dog. Walk away. I'm not going to do the approximations because he was pretty good. So I'm just going to get maybe to the door. Maybe I'm going to add a little something. Hi, how are you? And then back and treat. Now remember, it's your family out there. They can stay out there. This is a training session. Stay. Repeat those stays. Now we're going to actually add a person coming in. At no point am I gonna sit there and go, oh, hi, how are you? And talk to the person because guess what I'm worried about? The dog, because the minute this dog gets up, you go, ah, and you gotta put him right back. You want the outside of that bed to be like a hot stove. You want that dog to get up and go, even right now I'm watching him, right? You want him to, he gets up and he steps right off that bed. You're saying, ah, and he goes, oh, you want it to be like hot stove. Oh my God, right back on his bed. Then you can even reinforce him when he steps off the bed, but then he corrects himself. You can reinforce that. If he doesn't correct himself and he just comes, dut, 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 which most of the dogs watching this are gonna do, if he's only like two steps off the bed, I like to go back and I like to push them. Oh, good, he showed me. And I like to push them directly back on the bed. I don't like to go, oh no, please, and lure them back. I want to, the quickest route from A to B is direct large, right? I wanna push them right back onto the bed. I could then reinforce it. I didn't that time but he dealt with it well. I can reinforce him just kind of going back as I push him back on the bed. I'll reinforce him, what's it been, 20 seconds? Let's go another treat. Stay, now we're ready to add the guest stuff. The three main triggers for this behavior are the knock at the door, the, the, talk, the opening of the door where the person appears, that, the triggers to get up, right? Knock at the door, person appears, talking to the person. So we're gonna remind them with a stay before each of those happen, and we are gonna reinforce when they, when they are good for those three things happening. Those are the big three. Ready? I didn't remind Stay. Hi, come on in. So I talked to her. Come on in. 
I dog stayed really good and reinforce stay. Oh, it's good to see you again. Act like the person, act like your family member is your guest. You've got to say the hi, oh, it's good to see you. You've got to do that stuff because those are things that get the dog, the dog out almost all the time. Let's release Santo. Santo, okay. I like okay as a release. A lot of people use free. I like okay. Now let's make this really quite real for the last deal. Okay, Liz, back out, please. Liz is gonna knock. This is now it's gonna be the most real scenario. Dog's loose. We're hanging out, and ready? Someone's at the door. Grab your treats. Bed. Down. Beautiful. Treat. Stay. Watch the dog. That's the, one of the biggest things ever is you watching that dog. Because when it gets up, it's not all about treats. When it gets up, you have to be like, ah, and you got to almost run to put them back. They can't just get up and cruise around, and then you put them back. It doesn't work that way. Hi there. Good to see you. Come on in. What a nice dog. It's good to see you again. It's my friend who came over. Would you like to meet my dog? Yes. Okay, he's being a good boy. Okay, and he gets a release to say hi. All right, that is bed stay for guests coming over 101. The important parts are the approximations of getting to the door, the uh-uh, and the punishment, which is you moving into them, for them getting off the bed, and those three triggers that get the dog up, which is the knock, or, I mean, technically when the knock happens, the dog is loose, but sometimes you do the bed, the knock happens again, right? The person knocks again, or the doorbell. The triggers are the knock, the person talking, and the person appearing. So you, as the door, have to be, during the training session with your family, you have to be, like, on them when you're like, hi, how are you? Because guys, when your guest actually comes over, you're going to do none of this. I've been in thousands of people's homes. None of them slam the door on the guest, go put the dog back, and are sitting there and staring at their dog while they talk to their guests. None of them will do it. None of you will do it. You have to do this and see all the triggers during a training session to have a shot when those people come over, when your actual guests come over. If you do this, you can have this dog that is on a bed stay for your guests coming over. And it's like one of the coolest behaviors ever. Super impressive behavior if you follow these directions. So that's bed stay for people coming over.